Welcome to the ballot printer review. The ballot printer aid will use the voter's print label to select their correct ballot. The print label has the precinct number, language, voting method, if the voter requested assistance, and if the voter is provisional. If you encounter a label with facsimile before the language, that means that we do not have the language available on paper ballots or on the touchscreen. Instead, every vote center will have translations available for voters to use while they fill out an English-Spanish ballot. There are five languages where we'll encounter this. Gujarati, Telugu, Tamil, Nepali, and Punjabi. At the ballot printer station, identify if the voter wants a paper or touchscreen ballot. You'll find that information at the bottom of the voter's print label. If the voting method is paper, use the MBL Dell laptop connected to the ballot printer. To print a paper ballot, use the voter's print label to filter for the precinct portion. Click under precinct portion and type in the entire precinct number. For this label, you'll type in 00020046. Then click under language and scroll until you find the language, in this case, Korean. Then you're going to select the field under the card index and select one. This should leave one ballot left to be selected. Now that you've narrowed down your choices to one ballot, click it once. It will highlight red and you can double check that the precinct and language match the print label. Now that you've selected the correct ballot, select print in the top action bar. Four print dialog boxes will open and appear. Select print on all four boxes to print the entire ballot set. Now that you've printed the voter's ballot, select the clear fields icon under the precinct portion. Now that the voter's ballot is ready, check the print label. If you see a provisional banner, do not give the voter a secrecy sleeve. If the voter is provisional, trifold their ballot and hand it to the voter with their appropriate envelope. If you see a provisional followed by VBM, you will give the voter a blue envelope and affix the voter's print label on the back. If you get a label with provisional and a reason written next to it other than VBM, the voter will have a pink provisional envelope. The most common reasons will be already voted, insufficient ID, or VBM ballot received. There's a space on the front of the envelope to affix the voter's print label. Adhere the print label to the envelope. Voters need to complete their provisional ballots at the vote center. If you get a provisional that doesn't have a reason next to it, they are a voter with a yellow conditional envelope. Adhere the print label to the envelope. Conditional voters need to vote at the vote center. When you're exchanging envelopes, ballots, and secrecy sleeves, make sure that there is a sneeze guard barrier between you and the voter. If you have any questions, please email training at rov.sccgov.org. And of course, during the election, you can call 408-299-POLL.